In Excel, a function is a preset formula that helps you perform mathematical, statistical, or logical operations. They're important because they allow you to perform complex calculations and data analysis quickly and easily without having to manually write out the logic of the formulas themselves. Functions can also be used to look up and retrieve data from other cells or sheets, manipulate text, and perform many other types of operations. In Excel, every function has three parts. First, it has an equal sign to denote to Excel that you are doing a calculation. All functions start with an equal sign. Second, you need to define what function you will be using. You could be using the sum function or the average function to find an average of a set of numbers. You could be using functions to find the minimum and maximum of a given set of numbers. However, the scope of Excel's functions are vast and far beyond the scope of this course. However, all of the functions that we cover in this course will be included on our course's documentation website, linked in this lecture. I encourage you to continue exploring new functions and learning new functionalities of Excel. If you're asking yourself, is there a function to do what I'm doing? The answer is probably yes. I've been using Excel for nearly a decade and I still don't know many of the functions. Finally, there are arguments that go into a function. These arguments are inputted into an Excel function inside of the parentheses, but after the function definition. You can have anywhere from zero to hundreds of arguments inside of a particular function. When you see a function that has arguments without brackets, that means that the argument is required. Without that argument being inputted into the function, the function cannot operate properly. On the other hand, when you see arguments with brackets around them, these are optional arguments. These arguments are not necessary for the function to operate. However, they are often used to refine a function's output or select an option inside of the function. That's the generalized form of an Excel function. And in the next lecture, we'll learn about the order of operations.